Good morning, y'all. So I'm boiling my water, getting ready to clean my bathroom. I'm currently mopping my floors. This is my second bottle, my second pot of water boiling to clean. I also got my eggs back there boiling, y'all. So y'all, I saw a video where a lady put this, which is the clean water bucket, inside here, which is the dirty water bucket so that she wasn't mixing washing her floors with the same dirty water again well i tried to do that y'all and this bucket doesn't fit but when i saw that what a great idea i hadn't even thought about doing that y'all these are my cleaning supplies i do use lysol as well but i use fabuloso but i also clean with bleach i buy the no name brand the generic bleach to clean and to do my dishes so this stays in my kitchen under my sink and I buy Clorox for my clothes. So I keep two different bleaches. So I saw this on Rochelle Chanel's channel, y'all. It's a cleaning brush. Y'all see how I got a different head. I just still use this one. I need to switch them out. But y'all, this has been a lifesaver for me because I'm one of those ones that used to get inside the tub to clean the tub. And y'all know I boil my water so y'all can imagine. <laughs> I was torturing myself, but I love this. So I'm about to clean my sink. These are some of the other heads that I that came with the um my goodness did I tie knot in this thing I can't get it out. So these are some of the other heads that came with that cleaning um brush. I have this one, it's abrasive. I haven't used I haven't used any of these yet. Um I don't think I have. Um this is another one. This is a big one with the bristles. And excuse this, y'all. This is paint on my hands when I was down in there cleaning my garage, getting those paint cans out. This is another one. This is, I probably, I use this, I have used this one for getting it in the corners. Because I've used this on my floors, y'all, as well, y'all. I use this on my floors. And this is a little, I don't know what this is, y'all. Y'all tell me. It's not a head. I don't know if it goes to dry. I don't know what that's for. But, and this is the power, the USB. I'm about to plug it up for a little bit. Power liners are not cheap anymore. These things are pretty expensive. Like this one cost me like $10. And I purchased it because I wanted it to match my curtain. I don't want to have to keep purchasing these over and over. So to keep them clean, this is what I do. I sit it in the boiling, scolding hot water. With the Clorox and the Fabuloso. <laughs> Y'all remember when I purchased this? I have been using it. Y'all see it's almost gone. I need to buy me another exfoliating um, brush or something. But it actually does work, y'all. It, it actually does have my legs feeling a little smoother. I also purchased this to get my back, but it doesn't do a good job. I need it to be, I don't know. I don't want to have scratches on my back, but I do want it to be a little more abrasive than this. But yeah, I've been using this. I do this like every, I do this on my legs like every three days, y'all. Um, when I do my facial cleansing as well. It's time for me to do my facial cleansing because I haven't done that since it is now Wednesday. No, yeah, it's Wednesday and I hadn't done my face since Friday. So that's been sitting in there long enough. So we're going to take that out. And y'all look. Look how clean it's gotten. I know y'all saw that grit and grime when it was going in there. It has a little bit of charge and we're going to get to work.
I don't have the most uh, updated bathroom. I actually. Oops. All right, y'all. I don't have the most updated bathroom, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm be honest. You know, I purchased my house. I was happy that I was able to get home loan. My house was under one hundred fifty thousand dollars, y'all. It was pre-pandemic. Four bedroom. Four bedrooms, two and a half bath, under one hundred fifty thousand pre-pandemic, y'all. So I'm not upset. I had, I did make a lot of upgrades myself when I bought the home. Um, cause like my tub originally had the two old fashioned knobs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna trash can clean that. But I upgraded and I bought that little squeaky thing there. Paint it over cause some of the paint is chipping. But y'all, this is my home. When I finish painting, it'll be mine. It belong to me and my children. I'm not renting. We're buying. Um, with my equity and with everything, the home is valued at like 180 now. So I could sell it and make some money. But I was, you know, at one time I was thinking about selling it, but I was like, if I sell it, what am I gonna do? Because everything now for sale is costing. This same home, I couldn't even buy this same home back. Like, it's too expensive. It, it will cost too much. So, um, but like I was saying, I'm glad. I know I look a mess, y'all, but I'm cleaning. I'm, I should have put my bonnet on, child. Anyway, I'm glad I didn't end up getting a higher home loan, like 220 what I was looking for to get some of the other homes that were for sale. I'm glad I didn't get that because now I'm trying to make a second home purchase. And I'm going to talk to y'all about that too later on. But I'm trying to make a second home purchase. And with me having had, had if I had a home that was 220 and that has still probably owed like 200000 on, I probably wouldn't be approved for another home purchase because of my income and my debt to income ratio. It probably wouldn't approve me for another home, especially not these days and times where it has house, housing prices are. But with me owing what I do owe on this home, I could throw a couple few more um, principal payment only to this home, knock it down by like another $5,000, and I could get approved for another home for probably like another 140000 to be honest, because now I have that RN money, and my income is higher, and my debt will be lower, because like I said, I'm, per I'm per working on paying off a bunch of stuff. Um, of course, I don't want to spend more than like 120 on another home, because that home is going to be a smaller home, it's going to be a one level um, I really want a mobile home. Y'all already know that. It's going to be smaller. I don't, I don't need, at first I was looking at five bedroom, three bath. I don't need that. All my children won't be with me. They will, of course, come and stay nights or whatever. Some of my kids will be going with me. But all of them won't because they don't want to move where I'm moving to. Um, but I can do like a three bedroom, two bath. You know, find me a nice mobile home for like 100000 even though I don't even want to pay that price. Hopefully they the prices decline a little more and I can get a nice one for like seventy five or eighty. Get me like two acres of land. I want two acres of land. Alright y'all, the toilet is done. Um, the sink is done, the tub is done, the toilet is done. All I have left is the floor, y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm back out here again with my dogs. As y'all saw, should have seen in the beginning of the video, I did just a little part of me cleaning my bathroom, y'all. That was a great process recording that. I, I won't do that again. Um, hey y'all, I am back. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Muriel, this is Nurse Muriel. I don't think I did a proper introduction, but um, yeah, so I am out and about today running those errands. And got a little, um, not a shocker, didn't really throw me off my game, but my daughter wanted me to take her a few places. She did some applications for some um, for some jobs, and she wanted me to take her to like follow up on the applications, y'all. I don't know how to feel about this. You know how you have, I, I have, my children are very sheltered. My last three are very sheltered. And it was hard enough letting my son, <laughs> not letting, but it was hard enough 
when my son got out there on his own. Like, okay, so I had my first two fairly young. I had my first three fairly young. So my youngest, my oldest daughter, um, I had her when I was 15 years old and I was still a child. We grew kind of grew up together, but I was always mother. Don't get me wrong. Like I was always mother. My daughter, all I raised my children. My children didn't stay with the grandmother, aunt, uncle, none of that. Me and my oldest sister, we kind of had our kids together and we were each other like help with keeping our kids, whatever, whatever. I've been working since I was 16. I had a living, like I grew up in the South y'all. Um, but I, um, my daughter kind of grew up with me, but I was still mother. If you understand, like I bought my daughter's clothing, pampers, made sure she was straight for school. I did all that. Um, by the time my daughter was six years old, my daughter was, how old was she when I became a nurse? My daughter was what, seven when I became a nurse. So, you know, I had always had the, even before I became a nurse, I had the means to take care of her because I worked, I worked, I worked as a waitress, I worked as a cook. I never really made minimum wage because I was not trying to brag, but I was so smart. So I always became like the manager of places I worked, not when I was waitress, I didn't become the manager, but I became the manager. Like when I was working at Pizza Hut, I became a shift manager. So when everybody else was making like $4, I was making like seven, you know, back in those days, that was a lot of money. I became a CNA at a as a teenager. I worked at BP. Um, I got my nursing license young, but I was always mother. Like even at 22, I had my own three bedroom brick home that I was renting with my three children. Um, prior to that I was in an apartment that I was you know with my two kids that had a third one so anyway we kind of grew up together so it was a little like I she was worldly I'm gonna say like she was worldly she you know used to you know she just she had people she was out and amongst people and stuff um by the time I had my third child they had kind of kind of sort of had gotten a little reserved my third child my oldest two was still worldly had new people and stuff like that but my third child who's my son who's in college right now he was a little more reserved it was more so around family they wasn't out and about like doing things and then by the time I had my fourth child who was having child my my, my turn wasn't going nowhere heaven has always been pretty much anti-social she don't really talk to people she don't even really act with interact with our family she do interact with her cousins some of them on like my side of the family like her my sister kids she'll interact with them but none of them are really around her age like her first cousins the youngest one heaven is now 20 her first cousin the youngest one is probably like 25 you know so she don't really interact with them and then her second cousins who are uh, the oldest one is like 16. They kind of grew up together, kind of, sort of, but not so much because I moved away like 10 years ago. Um, They do come to my house from time to time, but they're not really... So Heaven is basically kind of sheltered, y'all. She never really made friends at school. She always saw children as children. Um, Even when she was nine years old, she used to say, these children giving me a headache and stuff like that. She's always been real sheltered. So now that she's trying to take a leap out into this world, I don't think she's ready for this cruel, cruel world. But she has a lot of book sense and she has common sense and she's not trying to be nobody's friend. She don't give a damn about the latest nothing that nobody wears. She don't care about none of that stuff. She's a different, I almost want to say she's, um, she's not awkward. She's smart. I was shocked when my son actually got out there and started communicating and stuff with people. He's very open and friendly and stuff. And I didn't think he would be like that, but he kind of got a grasp on this. So I'm just now a little, like, even when my son was going off to college, my sister was like, I don't think he need to go. He's not ready for that. And mind you, he was just going to one state away. Even that, that one state away was only like an hour and a half away from me. I was nervous about him going there. My sister said she don't even think he needed to go. I didn't want him to go because I know how cruel people is. But he has his head on his shoulders. He kind of sometimes don't have common sense though. But anyway, I was afflicted with that when I was young too. I didn't really have common sense. I had book sense. But he he's 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 making it out here. He's working. He goes to school. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm a little more secure with him. Heaven, I'm not ready at all. I'm not ready. I got her now here doing, I want her to get the job, but I'm not ready, y'all. I'm not ready. 
Anywho, so anyway, I'm taking her like four places. I told her the types of places I think she would be suitable for. You know how you have certain kids who are suitable. You feel like certain places are not for them. So right now we're at Publix. Publix is the type of place that I think she's suitable for. Um, she's a public, like I can see her working at Publix. I can see her working at Chick-fil-A. I can see her working at the library. <laughs> um, I can see her working where with some type of place that she could work. Um, maybe at like a CVS and a Walgreens. Like I can see that she's not a McDonald's. She's not a Bojangles. She's not a Cracker Barrel. She's not a Ruby Tuesday's Red Lobster, um, Walmart. She's not that type of person. She would never. She would never be able to make. I, I'm not going to say never, but that's not her personality. So if y'all understand what I'm saying about the type of personality my daughter has. So um, I felt confident. I, f I felt okay about her doing Publix. I feel okay about her doing Walgreens and CVS in certain areas of, of town close to home within like five miles from home and every store that we're going to is with, within like five miles of my house i'm not comfortable with her going anywhere else but she I just asked her i was like why do you want a job you know she has the youtube channel the youtube channel was doing well but lately it hasn't been really making her any money and she's like she gotta she gotta make money um she's playing at roller school for computer science so that's a plus but um so I got a mail off my book. So I had someone, I like I said, I my, mentioned my last video, my Etsy store, sell my brain, nurse brain booklets. If you are new to my channel, I have these nurse brain booklets that me and a friend of mine developed. They were there to assist you in doing an accurate and thorough um, shift report. And so this is one in green. This is how they look. They're laminated. So you don't have to worry about anything spilling, hitting your pages. It has this extra lamination on the side. So liquids will just roll on off and when you look inside this is an acute care book so you see how i have it set up for you to give an accurate shift report and they're real aesthetically pleasing um yeah they're real cute see so this covers everything every system every system in your body it covers your uh, cardiac respiratory and endocrine integumentary everything Hold on. Gray, like I say, laminated, all that. This is how it looks in long term care. It, let me get heaven out of here because y'all know she don't. So, this is how it looks in long term care, y'all. It's not as, is. it doesn't have to be as thorough because in long term care, we really, it's not acute care. You shouldn't have all that going on. But it's the basics just to help you identify the patients, what they have going on. Some little space down here to write some extra notes. So if you get any new orders or anything like that. Um, and these papers, I suggest writing in pencil because normally in long-term care, things stay pretty stable. So you, you shouldn't have to change too much. But if you need to erase something and do something different, like if you have a blood sugar one day of 100 and then you come at the next day and it's the same patient, it's a blood sugar 69, you can write that in instead. And you can fit up to, I think it's like up to 20 patients. I think it's 20 lines on here on one sheet. And I believe, y'all, I, I believe the uh, long-term care has 50 pages and the acute care has 40. Don't, or one of them have 40, one of them have 50. I don't remember exactly which one because it's been so long since I've even looked at these books. Like, I have them tucked away and every now and then when I get an order, I do... I do send them off. I'm going to link my Etsy store down below. But see how cute it is, y'all. And so y'all saw the pink and y'all saw the green. I mean, y'all saw the green and the gray. So here's the pink. And here's the blue. Now, this one, I won't sell this one because it has this stuff in here from being in my trunk. Um, nothing's hitting it. I don't know. I think that's just from natural light or whatever. But this is the blue. This is how. All right. So I'm in my local family dollar and... Look at the decisions nurses have to make. So, have to compare pens. Now, it's only one for two dollars. So, y'all, this is what I decided on. I got these for five dollars because they say they don't smear. Maybe pick up on one. I can't stand pens that smear. I also buy a pack for my co-workers so when they ask me to borrow a pen they get this dollar pen <laughs> always 
because you're not borrowing my. But y'all won't necessarily say these are good pens because they're four for five dollars. So like a dollar twenty-five a piece. I kind of want to write. Kind of want to get these two for three fifty. y'all these are the little arm and hammers that i bought i just want to show y'all the prices compared to what i spent y'all look their regular price 425 these are the small bottles on sale two for 350 which is still three dollars and 25 cents i got them for two dollars and 49 cents y'all this is my first time seeing these tiny bottles but look at the regular price y'all So I'm getting these for my little ones. Look how expensive, y'all. Ten dollars for six cans. I'm gonna get some of the chicken and rice. These are one ninety. I think they on sale. I think they on sale. So we're gonna get a few of these chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. They don't like the beef. flavor too so we're gonna get a couple of these these are cans all right y'all we are now oh, this hair oh, i definitely gotta take this hair out y'all i don't do right by this hair and this is some pretty hair y'all but y'all couldn't tell by the way i mistreated and mishandled it and just everything like it's a mess but this is actually this is some beautiful hair when i took it out of the pack and it looks it's kind of like natural looking like the texture is it's not yakky but it's not that it don't look like that baby doll hair that look fake it's some good hair i'm gonna actually really take my time and wash this hair and flat iron it but right now we are at books a million um she went to we're at books a million she's gonna see if they're doing some hiring I forgot about, about places like this. Books a million would be some <laughs> like I told y'all library, right? And then we were at another place and then she said, Oh, let's go try check out Books a Million. All right, y'all. I'm leaving the car wash. I didn't record in there because just because for one, I gotta use the bathroom. So I'm trying to make this the last stop here. And um well, I was talking all that time and it wasn't recording. And so I'm back home. I had to come home to bring heaven home. That's who that spectrum truck sitting out there for. Anyway, I don't like trucks and stuff sitting in. I don't know, child. I don't think they disconnect my service or anything because my bill is paid. But I just don't. I don't watch too many crime shows. <laughs> I get nervous about people just sitting in the neighborhood. But anywho, so I went. I brought her home. Earlier this morning, I had boiled some eggs. I don't know if I told y'all that while I was doing my cleaning. So I stopped in Taco Bell and got, y'all know, chicken power bowl, protein, whatever you call it. I eat their chicken power bowl, supreme bowl, all of that. I eat them. And um, so I went and got my eggs. I had to use the bathroom, so I ran in there, used the bathroom. Grabbed my eggs, um, opened them, and brought them out and spread them on here. I only had two things to do today, but running, heaven around, doing, taking her to these different places. I've only got one thing done that I wanted to do, and that was clean my car. It smells so fresh, so clean. Put my new little tree. Y'all know I'm little hanging trees up. I got a lavender one up. It smells so good. It looks so clean. Something about a clean car, y'all. Make you feel just like a clean house. Even though it's not thoroughly clean like I want it to be, I'm going to go look on Amazon today and order me some, um, look up some heat covers because my son said they're real expensive. So I won't say order today. I will say I'm going to look at them. I'm trying to hold on to my money because I want to go pick up my furniture this week and clean this garage so I gotta rent a U-Haul maybe I might try to find somebody I don't know I'm lazy and I don't mind paying for convenience I might if the U-Haul costs like $200 then I might as well pay somebody $300 to just clean my garage and go get my furniture this week when my bedroom set up. this is good though I didn't like how this salad looked I'm not gonna lie this salad had looked real funky when I opened it, I just, I don't know, the, I don't, it just didn't look good. It don't, this is the worst looking chicken supreme salad, chicken parbo salad I've had from any Taco Bell. 
the eggs give it a little different taste, y'all. But I'm gonna do a little workout tonight. I'm gonna go back to that workout I posted in that old video because I actually like that workout. I'm not getting on the floor, but I actually like the other movements and stuff you did in that workout. It's like I don't really get a lot of orders on Etsy for my book list, and it's probably because I don't advertise them like I used to. Like when I first started, I advertised it real hard, but I really don't advertise like that. But I out of like I sold about 120 books and those 120 I say 110 of them were just locally to people here locally in the city I live in and um to co-workers and stuff like I sell more just locally and um in my hometown and stuff so I'm probably gonna drop get rid of the Etsy store especially since I had the trash business now and the fact that I'm not even going to be producing any more of the books like what I have on hand is going to be it so if y'all want to get a booklet now will be the time to get your orders in because I I probably more than likely I'm not going to be um selling them on Etsy much longer probably no after 2023 it'll probably be a wrap with me selling these booklets on Etsy all together um, and I have like two boxes full. I may start just selling them. Um, I may start just going to like pop-up shops and stuff, selling them at a discounted rate. Oh y'all. So how I go to the bar, why I go to the barber shop and they are closed. I forgot they close on Wednesdays. Oh my goodness. So we just gonna go get him something to eat. He oh, it's gonna be next week Monday before he get his haircut. Unless I get my son to take him, my son might take him Saturday. Cause yeah, this is a weekend of working for me. So yeah, Rez, John will have to bring you Saturday, okay? But you want Arby's? Arby's. Oh, okay. Well, we going to get him some Arby's, and then I'm going home. I told y'all. I have an interview Friday. I get I work Thursday. <laughs> I work Thursday, so I gotta get home, get some sleep Thursday night when I get off. I already have everything pulled out and prepared for what I'm gonna wear to the interview. It, you know, because she was like, "How soon can you get in for an interview?" And I was like, "Friday." So for her to ask me how soon, what's the earl? She said, "What's the earliest you can come?" And I told her Friday. So that has me thinking. Oh well, you know, they may start me soon i may have to cancel all i don't want to cancel them all but i will cancel them all and the place the facility is not even 20 minutes from where i live y'all i'm going to save so much money on gas so much money on gas that alone is a plus even if i have to work five eight hour shifts i just hope they're not night shifts i don't want to do five nights um I think they're, I don't know if they're a 12 hour facility or a five hour, for, or eight hour facility, but we will see. So we about to roll through Arby's, y'all. He wants Arby's and I just had that Taco Bell. I'm not going to get nothing. I'm, I'm going to have some self-control. I'm not going to get nothing. I do want to take something sweet, but I'm going to wait until I get home and pull out my sugar-free Jello and my cool sugar-free Cool Whip. And that's going to be my sweet, what I have that's something sweet. And then... Y'all, who been in my room? I'm walking here. Like someone must have came in here and turned TV on. And this is what popped up. So this is telling me this is the workout I need to do tonight. Okay, y'all, let me take my little nap. Tune in later for the workout. So this is the next day. I actually didn't do my workout last night. I was too tired. <laughs> I was too tired. Um, I did do my hair, though. I did take it out, wash my hair, wash the tracks, and... Put them back in, try to flat iron. It does look a little better. Y'all can't really tell, but y'all see when I get dressed. So I woke up this morning, um, did little things around the house, got a load of laundry in there. And I'm about to go ahead and do the workout now. I missed it last night, so I'm going to do it now. And I see this is trap cardio. Uh, she's jumping right now, but I ain't jumping. She's really dancing, y'all. I, okay, I got weights on my legs. I can't do all that. We about to change this because she dancing the music. She dancing too fast for me. We gonna try this one instead. It's a two mile walk, y'all.
All right, y'all, I did 17 minutes. <laughs> it's a little tough for me because I have the weights. Let me show y'all. On each leg, I have these. I have, I think this, this is definitely five pounds. It may be more. I don't, I have to look on Amazon and see. But I have this and this on each leg. It's just, I, this is at least seven or eight pounds on each leg that I'm when I'm doing these workouts. I always have these on, um, so it's a little more difficult for me. So I tell myself for every for every um like mile that they walk, for me I burn more calories than they did because I have weights on my legs than they did. And like when they work out there, most of the things I watch except for that one lady I did, she had weights. But I always have weights on all my workouts. I wear them. <laughs> and it wears me out, y'all. So when they do 30, sometimes I got to give up at 18 minutes. But it is what it is. I got my workout in. I work today 3 to 11. I'm going to have my two-pound ankle weights on today at work. So that's going to be a little bit more of a workout. Right now, I'm going to take a shower because I'm smelly. I don't like, <laughs> like being like this. Or I'm going to go ahead and get ready for work. So I'm going to go do some running. I really don't want to run around because I spend money. But I got to go pick my groceries up. And I have to leave at 2 to be to work on time. So, yeah, y'all. Another workout complete. See y'all on the next one. I think my next upload will... I'm going to skip a day. And I'm going to go to my job interview. I'll let y'all see me getting ready for that. I did my um, skin. I did my face um, scrub today. Um, 
And I also bought some new products. I see, I watched a video of a girl today who had some like lip lightening products she purchased. And y'all, I have always felt like I had a drunk man's lips. <laughs> it's pink, but I always felt like I had a drunk person's lips. And um, I've always wanted to lighten my lips because of this. And she had a video on how she lightened her lips. So I ordered that today from Amazon. So y'all see my lips now, how they look. If y'all see them lighter within a month or so, because she said it took her a month to get hers like that, then uh, y'all will know the products work, and I will show y'all what I use. Um, but that's it for this video. See you on the next one.